Good afternoon, my fellow graduates. <laughs> my fellow travelers. Today we stand at the end of one part of our journey, the peak of this mountain. And as we look behind us, we see all the terrain that we've crossed to get here. We remember the challenges, the valleys and storms, the successes and failures, both large and small. And as we look next to us, we see each other, our companions, <laughs> our support. We've grown so close over the course of our journey. But let's not forget those who have stumbled along the way. To celebrate the company of those that have joined us, and to take time to encourage those who are still climbing. Now let's take a moment to reflect on why did we come to college? Many of us had support. For me, that was my mom, my dad, and my grandma, and they expected nothing less. But what was our goal? A college degree? A master's? Why? So we could gain the next degree? So we could work in a specific job, in a chosen career path? We came to college so we could succeed. And that's the heart of it. Success. And this draws me back to this question that has presented itself to me over and over again in my time here at UST. What is success? Webster defines success as the attainment of wealth, favor, or eminence. And this is what society and the media often tells us. But we know. Our classes, our time here at UST has shown us that this isn't it. So we return. What is success? I'm drawn to the memory of a friend and mentor who I expected to see here today. One of my guides and a guide for so many others along our journey. A man whose recent loss has immersed me and so many of you in pain and sadness, but also gratitude for the time that we had together. And, and I was compelled to pull something, not out of his death, but out of his life. And it is this, a true example of success. I want to succeed in my life as Dr. Gustavo Winslow did in his. Dr. Winslow was a successful man. And it wasn't because of the academic or professional honors he received. It wasn't because he was director of the Center for International Studies or the founder and director of his own nonprofit. He succeeded in this life because he knew how to love. But what is love? In my search for love, I, I burst off the cobwebs and pulled down my dusty philosophy books. Just kidding, Dr. Hall. I reflected on the three forms of Christian love. I googled it. I tried on Twitter. Didn't work. I made a Facebook group. But one stuck with me. Psychologist and Holocaust survivor Victor E. Frankel recognizes that love is seeing the potential in others. Not the honors or recognition, not the failures or weaknesses, not just this degree, but the potential. Love is seeing the potential and helping others to actualize it, to turn this potential into meaningful results. Gustavo Wenzio knew this. Dr. Winslow lived this. He always saw the potential. And we today who are still here, who still have some precious time on this earth, we're called to love. We must love. Our friends, our enemies, those close to us and those oceans away. Those who seem to have it all and those who appear to have so little. And we must never forget, of course, to love ourselves. And in truly loving, we see potential, and we empower others to do more, to be more, and we learn together what real success is. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Winshow, for teaching me and for showing me what success and love really are. And, and thank you, UFT professors, administrators, staff, for providing the guidance in an environment that allows us to succeed and to be our best. In addition to Dr. Winslow, I'd like to make a special mention of Professora Zambosco Thomas and thank her for the difference that she made in my life. And thank you to all the faculty, all the, the professors, the staff at this university who have made our experience here an amazing, amazing experience. Woo! I want to thank you today, my 
my fellow graduates, my alumni. Hi, happy graduation! Thank you all for being there and for showing me what love really is. Thank you, Tom. I love you, Tom. Awesome. We love you. <laughs> you guys have been amazing, and, and, and my experience here wouldn't have been anything without you guys. Uh, so I encourage all of you today to take your day, our day here today, and share it with all the people that are here with you and, and that are here for you. I want you to thank them for all that they've done and thank them for all the love that they've shown you. Yeah. And while I've got the mic, I have to thank uh, my mom, my dad, and my grandma for all that they've done for me. My mom for the afternoon movies, my dad for the late night chess games, and my grandma for many things, but particularly her sweet potato casserole. <laughs> So now we stand at the top of this mountain, and we look forward to the terrain that lies before us, the peaks and valleys, the storms and blue skies. And we prepare to continue our journey, to climb the next mountain and the one after that, until one day we'll find ourselves at the end of our long odyssey. And as we look back and celebrate our life, we'll appreciate all the love that we experienced along the way. And if we did it right, as Dr. Wincho did, we have been a catalyst of love in the lives of so many other people. And that is success. Thank you. And I wish each and every one of you all the success in the world. Thank you, Tom. Ms. Francis Estrella, Alumni Association Board President will greet the new alumni and make a presentation to the 2009 Distinguished Alumni.